Let's talk about it. Hello people, my name is Nixon Dias and you are watching Smelly Cat. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing and also for hitting that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. Today I'll be talking about my experience with Club de Nuit Iconic. No first impressions, no guessing what this scent is like, no reading the notes of the internet and judging it. I've worn this for five days straight and I'll tell you what it really is like. Check the pinned comments for my review on the other two in the series, Elixir and Untold that I've already done. Today is about this one and in my next video, I'll talk about Imperial. First, a look at the box and bottle. I'll make this really quick. You get the same box that you get in the rest of the Club de Nui series. This has a metallic tinge to it. It has this web-like design on the side. You have obviously sterling and all of that written and then you have the batch code at the bottom along with the year of manufacturing. Mine is a November 2022 batch which was made in France. Inside this you get the same card that you get in the rest of the uh, Club de Nuit series uh, but I think that they should now update it with the new offerings. Almost forgot to tell you this comes in an EDP or the Parfum Concentration and like the rest of the series, this is a 105 ml bottle. So yeah, Amar gives you 5 ml extra when you buy a Club de Nuit. Here is the bottle. This is more of a metallic blue or electric blue like design. Uh, not my favorite out of the three. And I'm not saying that because this doesn't look good. It really looks good in your hand uh, and in person. But I prefer the look of Untold first then Imperial and then this one comes at number three for me. On the side you have this Club de Nuit written like the rest of the series uh, but I must say that this one is a fingerprint magnet compared to the other two bottles. Those are as well but this metallic uh, sort of blue or this metallic tinge that they have on top of it makes this one much more of a fingerprint magnet and i'm really struggling to uh, you know struggling to keep this one clean at the moment and you'll notice those fingerprints even more on this metallic or this chrome finished cap it's a heavy metallic cap not uh, it's not plastic it's metal now a quick look at the sprayer this one this is job pretty well Let's now have a quick look at the notes provided by Armaf on their official website, armaf.ae. The top notes are grapefruit, lemon, mint, pink pepper, and coriander. The middle notes are ginger, nutmeg, jasmine, and melon. And the base notes are incense, amber, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, labdanum, and woody notes. I hope I've not missed out any. So the DNA behind this is pretty evident, right? And this comes with a lot of questions naturally. So let's make this video about addressing those questions and let's not beat around the bush, no fluff, no faff. We'll get straight into those questions and I'm gonna answer them to the, to the best of my ability. And then if you have further questions on it, you can feel free to ask me in the comments or Add me on Instagram where I'm much quicker with replying. Let me move a little to the side so that I can put the text on this side as well. Let's start with the first question you might have, which is, what is this closer to? Is this close to Blue de Chanel EDT, EDP or the Parfum version? I am on my second bottle of the EDP and this is one of the fragrances that really got me into this space and I've also gone through one bottle of the EDT. Now I prefer the EDP over the EDT because I feel that this one is much fuller and creamier compared to the EDT and that makes it much classier and more refined as well. Now while this one has notes closer to the EDP version, I think that this one lies somewhere in between the EDT and the EDP. How you ask? I think that this one has the sharp citrusy fresh opening of the EDT 
but it also has some of that creamy woody dry down that you will find in the Aude Parfum. But again, not entirely like the EDP because it's missing some of this sweetness, especially the sweetness that comes from the melon, the amber uh, or the amber wood. Now question number two, how close is it to the Blue de Chanel DNA? I find this very, very close to, like I said, you know, in between the EDT and the EDP. However, I would also say that this one also has its own thing. You know, it does its own thing and it also has its own sort of signature uh, somewhere in the midst of the scent. So while the opening will remind you of that fresh citrus burst that you get in the EDT and it has some of that uh, woody, creamy, dry down like uh, people love in the EDP. Somewhere in the mids, it also does its own thing, which I quite like actually, because then it gives it uh, gives it its own uh, its own signature. Having said that, I still think that it you know is true to uh, it knows the direction that it wants to be in, and it is not like a couple of people told me. This is a hybrid of a few blue scents. I don't feel that. I feel that the brief is pretty clear. It knows what it wants to be like but it also adds its it, it also adds its own thing to the mix but that doesn't mean that this one is a mix of all blue designer scents thrown in together definitely not but yes i feel personally that this one is much closer to that blue additional dna compared to scents like uh, Missoni Porum, Dylan Blue, and also these two scents, let me show you. Salvatore Faragamo Aqua Essential Blue and Salvatore Faragamo Aqua Essential. So yes, these two also have a bit of that Blue de Chanel DNA in it, uh, but I think that the Armaf is much closer to that. Now question number three, is it better than the other blue offerings from Armaf? We all know that Armaf has already taken a crack at this sort of scent before. So how is this different and is it worth that extra price? From personal experience, I've had Voyage Blue, Shades Blue and Tag Him. And my favorite is definitely this one. Those are no doubt great value for money sense for people looking at this dna especially tag him tag him i think personally i like better than the other two that i mentioned and can be found at discounters for a bargain so at that price point uh, tag him and the other two are not bad at all i really like tag him so if you're a little tight on the budget i would say tag him would do the job for you so then why this you know why pay more for something that armaf has already tried in the past and like I said, you know, it's it will do the job. I'll tell you why, because with that few extra dollars, you also get a whole lot more with this scent. This one is a more polished take. There's no doubt about that. You get a higher quality blend and the smooth feeling from the first spray all the way to the dry down. In fact, I'll go so far as to say that this one is actually better than most recent designer blue releases and that brings us to a very very important point about this one the performance with these new releases blue iconic imperial and untold armaf has sort of heard our woes and gone rogue in the performance department all of them are bangers and the one that impresses me the most is this one the blue one uh, who would have thought because our one gripe is with the fact that no one has created a scent like this that actually performs. But now we have one. Which brings us to my last question. How does it perform? For me, incredibly. This one breezes past that 8 to 9 hour mark without any problem. All three of these are heavy hitters. And like I said, you know, I was most impressed with this one. Yes, there is an added ISOE super feel in this for sure. But with that also ends your worry of this DNA not being able to go above the four to five or six hour mark. The projection is strong in the first two to three hours of this. And then in hours three to eight, this is say about a half a meters length away from your body. Then at around the nine to 10 hour mark, it starts turning into a skin scent. 
but if you bring your wrist if you've sprayed it on your wrist and you bring it close to your uh, nose and try sniffing, sniffing it even after the 9 to 10 11 12 hour mark you're still going to detect it but it's not going to project so to summarize it this one i feel is somewhere in between the edt and the edp not a hybrid like most people are saying although i do think that it does its own thing somewhere in the middle but again great quality superbly blended uh, it feels doesn't feel cheap at any moment uh, and it is a banger in terms of performance see i'm no arma fanboy but i've seen people writing these off without even trying them which i think is a little unfair so i would say if you have the chance do try them uh, and if you really are looking for if you want to blind buy and i really don't recommend blind buying but if you really think that yes i need a scent that is in this uh, space but you're not happy with the performance that much i can guarantee you that yes on my skin this one does perform better than any other uh, inspirations out there anyways if you still have questions if i've sort of missed out on anything that you'd really like to know ask me in the comments or add me on instagram like i told you before uh, thank you for liking sharing and subscribing and until next time Keep smelling amazing.